This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make a fairly large render in ZBrush, say something around 6,000 by 3,500 pixels? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model loaded in. And to render an image of a certain size, we just need to change our document settings. So if I navigate over here to the document panel, and navigate to the bottom, you'll see we have a width setting and a height setting for our canvas or document size. So currently this is set to 1550 by 945. So if we go to this export option here, it's going to export out an image at this resolution. So if we want to export out an image at say 6000 by 3500, we need to just change these sliders here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just disable Pro here, and this is just going to constrain the proportions between the width and the height. So by turning it off, I can change these proportions as needed. So in the height, I'm gonna type 6,000 and then hit enter. And then in the width, I'm gonna type 3,500 and hit enter. Now make sure when you type in any values in the sliders in ZBrush that you hit enter afterwards so that value registers. Now after these are set to the width and the height that we want, we just now need to click this resize button. So when we click this resize button, we're gonna get a little dialog that's saying this is an undoable operation. I'm just gonna hit yes to that. And you'll now notice that the canvas has been enlarged to that 6,000 by 3,500, and Earthquake has been dropped to 2.5D. So we wanna render Earthquake in 3D, not 2.5D. So we're gonna hit Control N to clear our canvas. And then now we're only seeing a portion of that 6000 by 3500 resolution image. So we need to navigate over the side here and just zoom out some. And we're just going to zoom our canvas out until we can see the extents of that 6000 by 3500. Now we just need to redraw Earthquake. So I'm just going to click in the center here and drag out. And then I'm going to go into edit mode by clicking T on my keyboard or clicking edit up here. And then now I can reposition Earthquake like so. So something like that. So now that we have our document set to that 6,000 by 3,500 pixels, and we have Earthquake fitting correctly in that document size, we just need to export this out. Now, right now, we are zoomed out on our canvas here, so we can just see the entire scene. So if we go to Document and do Export with the canvas at this size here, it's going to export out at this size. So if you want to export out the full 6,000 by 3,500 pixels, we need to go back over here and click this actual button, which is going to show our canvas at the actual size. So this is the actual size of Earthquake here on that 6,000 by 3,500 document. Now we can scroll in this mode to kind of check out what Earthquake's going to look like at that resolution. And then after he's in this size here, we now just need to go to Document and go to Export. So that option again is just make sure that if you're rendering large images, that you click this Actual button here before you go to Document to export your image out. If you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!